Okay, so if you're taking a growth hormone to create a tog, you need to make sure that you're taking it on an empty stomach. But before I teach you why, you need to understand exactly how the system works. That way, the timing will make much more sense to you. Your body has two signals that tell your pituitary gland to produce growth hormone. The first is GHRH, which is typically produced during deep sleep or immediately after hard training. The second is ghrelin. This is your hunger hormone that's produced when you're fasted. And both of those signals travel to the same exact cells in your pituitary gland called somatrophs. And those are the cells that produce growth hormone. When you take a growth hormone secretatog, you're mimicking one of these signals. Peptides like CJC1295 and sermorelin, they're going to mimic the GHRH signal. And then ipamorelin is going to be what signals the ghrelin or MK677, which, as you know, isn't a peptide. It still does the same thing. Now, here's where insulin comes in. When you eat, your blood sugar rises and your body releases insulin to transport those nutrients to your muscles and to your brain. But insulin also binds directly to those somatrophs, and it's actually suppressing your ability to release growth hormone. So if you inject those peptides while there's insulin present in your blood, you're basically pressing down the gas and the brake at the same time. And this is exactly why you need to wait at least two hours after you eat to inject those peptides. But here's the part that gets really interesting. Once growth hormone is released, it actually travels down to your liver where it gets converted into IGF-1. And IGF-1 is the thing that's actually driving all that muscle protein synthesis. Your liver needs insulin to convert that growth hormone into IGF-1. And this is exactly why the timing depends on your goal. Growth hormone by itself directly burns fat. You don't need IGF-1 for that. But IGF-1 is what's telling your muscles to grow. So if your goal is fat loss, injecting before bed makes the most sense for you because that's gonna give your body the time to produce the growth hormone and have it sit in your system to burn all that fat. But if your goal is to build muscle, injecting before bed and then not eating till morning basically means that you miss that IGF-1 window. That growth hormone pulse is gone by the time you eat breakfast in the morning. So if your goal is to build muscle, inject those peptides in the morning about 30 minutes before you eat. You'll get the full growth hormone release because you're fasted. Then your meal is going to provide the insulin that you need to convert it into IGF-1. So the concept of fasting stays exactly the same, but what you do it after you inject is entirely dependent upon what you're trying to accomplish. So look, if you're looking for help optimizing your peptide protocols and how to actually do the research in a safe way, I actually have a free community that you can join on school. All you have to do to get access is comment school spelled with a K below, and I'll send you directions for signing up. Hope this was helpful. We'll talk soon.